Hey guys, uh, so in this tutorial, uh, we are gonna start building a Django project uh, from the scratch. So Django is uh, Python's package for uh, web development. And Django is, um, Django is written in a way that uh, it is possible to uh, you know, write package or write a website rapidly uh, based, on, based on the structure uh, that, that built, is built in in Django. So a lot of times we hear that Django has a lot of batteries built in, which in other way of saying that uh, there are a lot of uh, thing that comes uh, pre-installed with Django. So um, uh, once uh, as we as we go on and start writing more and more uh, or start building more, uh, I will uh, talk about them. Uh, but for now, let's get started here. Okay, so now i'm in my desktop uh and if i actually i'm in my home folder so i'm gonna go to my desktop here and i don't have any files here but for now i'm just gonna create a folder uh that i would, I would name it my django project i'm gonna cd to the folder all right so here uh, the first thing that I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna uh, create a, a virtual environment uh, uh, for uh, for our project. So the the one that I would like to use more is the pip env. It's uh, um, it's it's not only a, a virtual environment; it's also a package manager. So uh, if you have used uh, virtual env or if you have used pip this p uh, this pip end is a combination of both of them so the way uh, we could install pip end is by uh, using pip uh, install pip end so i already have that installed so which is why it says requirement already satisfied for pip end but uh, for you it might take a couple of more uh, seconds or minutes to install pip end so once we install pip env, uh, uh, we, if you want to check if you have the pip env installed, you can do pip env and then press enter. And uh, if you uh, if you see something like these, uh, like these options coming up, which means that you have uh, pip env installed in your computer. Okay, now let's create the uh, our virtual environment. So the way uh, we could uh, create virtual environment using pip env it's just uh it would say something it would say pip env uh, and then install um, and the package uh, let's say we want to install django so we would do something like this uh, all right so this is gonna go and uh it's gonna create a virtual environment installing it's going to install django it's going to add django to the pip file which is a file that gets created um once we run this query i'll show you uh in a minute but uh, so basically uh what happens here is that it's gonna create that pip file uh, within this fo this folder that the folder that we are in and then also it creates uh, it creates this virtual environment in the location of here. So this is the location where it creates that virtual environment. Uh, all right, so now that it, the virtual environment is created, uh, we could uh, see that uh, there are two files that gets created uh, here. So these files contains information about, uh, about the virtual environment. Okay, so now that we have created our uh, our, our virtual environment, uh, how do we get into it, right? So the way to activate uh, our virtual environment is uh, by saying pip env and shell. So once we do that, uh, we see that we have this. Uh, we have the name of of our our folder, uh, which which is. Uh, which represents that the virtual environment is created. All right, so I'm gonna clear out here, and then I'm gonna try to see how what are the packages we have installed. So we have Django 4.0.4, we have pip, we have setup tools. Uh, 
and we also have Python installed. So if I, let's say run Python here, we see that we have Python 10.2 uh, installed. So I'm just gonna exit it. Uh, all right, now, so now that we have our virtual environment uh, uh, installed, uh, we wanna, we're gonna create our first uh, project. Uh, but for now, uh, we are gonna go and uh, we're gonna call on the visual, our Visual Studio Code. All right, so now that we have our virtual environment installed, uh, we wanna uh, move, move into a development environment. So uh, for example, like an IDE, like Visual Studio Code or PyTerm, something like that. Uh, for, uh, for me personally, I like to use uh, Visual Studio Code. So I'm gonna, uh, you know, open Visual Studio Code uh, within my Django project. So once I open it, uh, I'm just gonna uh, zoom in a bit more just so we can adjust. Uh, so within Visual Studio Code, uh, we have the terminal here, uh, which which we can use, and I, I am and going forward, I'm going to use this terminal uh, because it's uh, it's integrated within Ver, uh, Visual Studio Code, and it's easy to uh, bring up and also uh, uh, hide it uh, using uh, Control and Backtick uh, in in both I think Mac and Windows. So if I do Control Backtick, it's gonna go away, and if I press Control Backtick again, it's gonna come back. All right, so uh, if we look at the files here, we have those two files here. And uh, and now uh, what we are gonna do is that we are gonna uh, uh, start our, um, we, we're gonna go and activate our virtual environment. So that would be pip env uh, and then shell. So, uh, so the virtual environment is activated now. Uh, now we are gonna we are within the virtual environment and um, if I want to see the list of packages I have installed I'll do pip list um, so as you can see the only some of the package uh, for example the other these ones comes pre-installed um, the pip setup tools and will it comes pre-installed with virtual environment uh, but when we uh, install Django uh, we installed uh, this pa Django package and then I think SQL parse package and also as grief package. Uh, okay, so uh, we have our packages ready. We have our environments ready. And uh, okay, uh, so one thing I want to mention is that uh, while working with Django, we need to install some of the extensions uh, that uh, will come in handy while working with Django. Uh, so the extensions are uh, the ex extensions are Django and then uh, the other one is Jinja template language support. Um, so that's pretty much it for now. But I'm gonna uh, talk more as we go on with uh, other, other, as we need more extension, extensions to install. Okay, so I have the packages ready. Uh, I, have the pa uh, I have the virtual environment ready. I have the so now uh, let's start our our first pro project. So in order to uh, in order to uh, create a project or start a project, we want to say Django admin and then start a project. And if we want to create the project, uh, let's name it my. For now, let's name it my Django, and then let's name it, let's let's keep the name same as the folder we have here. So actually, I'm just gonna copy this and then. So let's uh, once we run this query, it's gonna create a folder within this folder uh, and it's gonna name it my Django project as well. So, which is sort of redundant, uh, but uh, let's just do it for now, okay? So once I do that, uh, and then if I look at the folder here, 
and we see that uh, our first project was created. So we have this, we have the desktop, and then within the desktop, we have this my Django project and folder, and then within that folder, we have this another folder, my Django project, and the pip files. And if we go into that folder, um, we could see that there is another folder uh, that is created here. And within that folder, we have all the files, all the necessary uh, b um, pre installed files uh, that comes with Django. So this uh, seems like a redundant. So what we are gonna do here is that we're just gonna delete this uh, folder for now. Uh, so move to trash. Uh, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna write the same query, uh, same command, but at the end of the command, we're just gonna do this call, this full stop sign, which tells the terminal to use the current directory as project directory. So we are uh, getting rid of one, uh, we are getting rid of one parental directory here. So if I run this query, uh, now you see that we have the de desktop folder and then within desktop we have this folder and then within this folder we have all these fold uh, files and this folder here so this manage.py file is basically a wrapper of uh, our django admin admin command that we had so uh, this django admin command right this uh, we are not gonna be using this command anymore because we have this manage.py file. Now, if I if I look at the some of these folders here, so this init.py, it's an empty uh, file uh, which basically tells that this that all these uh, files are part of this project. And then we have uh, ski and whiskey file. Uh, these are for uh, developing uh, uh, this project into production or 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 it's it's more for like development and the setting that py file it's it, it's got all the settings uh, for this uh, for the project that you we are gonna work on we're, we're gonna keep coming back to this as we work on it so it's got setting secret key it's got debug like tree and then it's got uh, all the installed apps uh, middleware and then um, some of the templates database so it's it's got all the settings for our project, and then URL uh, consists of all the URLs. Right now we only have admin, which is uh, pre-installed, and then so yeah, so that's pretty much what we have for now. Uh, so I'm gonna bring back uh, our terminal here, and then um, uh, run the project. So we have the project uh, now. We just need to. Uh, run it so the way we would do that is python manage.py run server so by default uh, this project will run on the server 8000 but if we want to have have uh, a different port we could uh, do like 9000 or something 9000 or so let's do 9000 for now uh, so if i do that uh, you could see that if i so if I just okay, so here you can see that once I run that that command, uh, it's saying that it's starting development server at uh, this local server at nine at with port nine thousand. So our project is actually running. So if I if we follow this link, uh, and I wanna bring in this uh, file here. So you could see that our project is actually running on a local host and then port 9000. So if I go back, uh, our project is running here. All right, so uh, now uh, even though you see that here it says you have 18 unapplied migration, I wouldn't worry about this uh, yet because this is something uh, we are gonna fix as we go along but uh, so so there you have it uh, we have our first Django project up and running uh, in the next tutorial we are gonna I'm gonna talk more on uh, 
on the on some of the other files for example url or i'm gonna create a first web page and uh, uh show our uh show our outputs